Hey guys, how you can see, I clean out my shop. And I'm working on this piece right here. How you can see, this piece is completely black. Rusted out. When you work on this, always use safety glasses. Um, and this is how it's done in the bottom of it right now. I'm doing everything else. And then I'm gonna clean the inside. Then I gotta come here and clean the whole the whole shaft of it, 90% of it, redo the thread top and bottom. Try to do this right here without destroying it. And then put it back together. Hey guys, so as you can see, I tried to do this end right here, but that end didn't come out that good because the way that is. But it did, did all this outside. And basically, this sits like this in the car. So I gotta get the Grimmel and I'm gonna clean all this up, paint it just like here. All this gotta be clean. The shifter came out pretty good. Gotta make sure the other threads are fine, it looks like it. And put it back together that we're supposed to. It looks like that. Have to get everything done and paid for. These are the parts right here. And this is it, as much my two things for today. Already the Transmission is painted, done nice and clean. Uh, motor mounts have to be painted. And after that, this is it. We put it back together, bring the car in, and we put it together. I got the cables right there on the floor. Those are the cables right there by my feet. Then that's the shifter. I'm excited. Um, he didn't bring me the lockers that he need to get. Oh, I might use them from the automatic. So that's it, that's it. Oh, they're right here. Okay, so I got them. All right, guys. Let me see what else I can do. I gotta get the Dremel. Dremel that clean. I'll let you know what I'm done. All right, guys. Look at that beautiful scene, all right? daily and that's the baby that we're doing this too. Oh, so I painted it I'm going to I'm going to let it dry for half an hour or so before I put my hands all over it uh, it's already painted both sides and that's it <laughs>
All right, guys. So I got the car on the air. So you're gonna need a 19, this is the bow joint separator. I right, took out the axle. So let me see what I'm gonna go here. So basically, this goes right here like that. And you see how you cannot reach? You take this out of here. There's an adjustment on it. You buy this for 20 bucks on Harbor Freight. And you find it here. Basically, you put that through there. And Uh, there we go. So I hope you can see very well. Goes on the board joint itself, right there. And this goes there. Okay. Hopefully, I can hit it with a gun this way. Let me go get the gun. I'm just gonna put it right here and bam, hit it. Let's <laughs> see. There we go, you heard it. So, all right, guys, you can see I already got the axles out of the way. Um, got an extension. So, if you're pulling this out, this is the transmission. If you go wash right here, this is the transmission line. So, I got to loosen up this one and that one, and then one right here that holds the bracket to the train. This one right here. That stays in place that holds the motor. So the motor's gonna stay holding on by this bracket. And I'm gonna try to break it loose. I already took out this bar right here on this side for more flexible to take it out. And hopefully when I start loosening it up, I got someone I'm gonna get big boy to help me out. So if you have a small gun, great. If you have something bigger like me, massive like this guy right here. Uh, let's see, put it right there.
right, guy. So, got the transmission out. It's a little bit pain in the butt. There she is, right there. Came out with the starter. So you're gonna have that bolt back here, these two bolts, and then there, these other guys. There she is. Now there's the new one going in. Um, I gotta right now remove this bolt right here. I'm gonna do it right now, put the flywheel on, get all that ready and set up, and come off for the ride. So right here, I got the flywheel already on. You see this right here? That's your guy for the other side, so the flywheel can stay in place. Putting everything back together. now it's gonna be your clutch right here your flywheel it's right there pressure plate so we'll put this right here for now so basically it's gonna go like this you see this right here that's your guy that goes in Now, first, you get your flight, your, hold on, get your clutch first and let it on. But, Houston, we have a problem. That clutch doesn't line up. You see it right here? So, it goes right there. I hope you can have a better angle of this because I'm going this way. Uh, and after that, you see this little flat spot right here? Those are guys. You got one, two, three, four. So you grab your, and this is kind of heavy right here. Put it right through here. And then, remember those guys? You start looking for them. Okay, this one. So you gotta line them up. If they don't line up, they're not gonna work. This one, this two, boom. See? Okay, so, of course, you're gonna need your bolts. Always put my hand first. started the video on the first build I told you guys the only thing you're gonna need was the pedals shifter cables transmission um, that's it right no well you need a half shatter also for the driver's side you're gonna need a hatch shaft you're gonna need a shorter transmission um, the motor mount is completely different so you're gonna need an aftermarket mount the 93 to 95 uh, Honda Civics when they're manual you're gonna convert it to stick, just get a special mount, it's like a hundred bucks. You're gonna need one of those uh, and a starter. Because the starter, if you don't get it with a transmission, it's kind of different. They got like two different starters for that, yeah. 
Um, besides that, that's the reason I couldn't finish the car that night because I'm missing those three spots. Um, besides that, what it goes inside the car, there'll be the pedals, the shink, and that I got already. I was just waiting to go to those parts to bring him to my shop, to here to the house and finish it. But for now, part two is done. There's missions in the vehicle, and I'm sorry I couldn't bring you a very footage. I had to put it in my shed, press it up to the towards the car, and get it done with awesome. But we got to put on and everything back on. Everything from the soft frame and everything came back onto the vehicle. Well, guys, I see you in part three. Hopefully, um, the part three video gets better than this. All right. Any questions, any answers, hit me below. Let me know if you got any question about this. And thank you for just being 327 subscribers, and I'll see you guys later.